Okay. Uh, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Miss Rose Things, and this review is going to be kind of. I'm trying to make this review short. This is Catfish Season Seven, Episode Twenty One. Sheila and Rich Dollars. Now, if y'all don't know what Love and Hip Hop is, I will introduce you to it real quick. Love and Hip Hop is a, a VH1 show. It has different. Um, it has Miami, New York, and Hollywood, and oh, in Atlanta. And Rich Dollars is on the New York one. He's been on there since like season two. And this lady named Sheila, um, she thinks that she's been talking to him. And also this week's co-host is Nick Young. He was on the Lakers, or if he's still on there, I don't know. And he is Iggy Azalea's ex-fiance. Yes. So Sheila is 32 years old. She's a single mom. And she's a New Yorker. And she's falling for Rich Dallas. And I was just laughing to myself, thinking, like, this possibly cannot be him. Like, how can this be him? Like, is it really him? I don't know. Um, he has, as y'all watch Love and Hip Hop, he has a new girl every season. Like, he was dating Erica, and, you know, then they were arguing. And he, he just loves the ladies. Like, he loves the ladies. And it just don't sound like Rich just doesn't sound like him. She has one daughter and she's a union rep for a cleaning company. For a music company or cleaning company. And she's an aspiring rapper. And she could drop them bars. She drops them. And she says that Rich's page is verified so it could possibly be him. Um, she says it's been very one-sided. Like he doesn't really like be lovey-dovey or like that. Because she really loves this man. But I'm wondering like why? Because he's a reality TV star, and you need to find somebody in real life, like real life, because they don't work out. So they go to Long Island, New York, and they meet Sheila, and she has, and they go down to her basement, and Nick is too tall for the basement, and Nick is keeping it real right now, so that's points, good points for uh, the next co-host of Catfish. You gotta keep it real with these people, you can't sugarcoat things, you gotta keep it real. And... He thinks that she was being stalkerish. I was like, oh, Nick, why, why, why? And Neve took over the small camera. Because usually the other person does the small camera, I think. But he took it over this time, and Nick had the big camera. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And they always say on Love and Hip Hop, New York, the creep squad, the creep squad. It was like Peter Guns, but he left and all that. And then Rich Dollars was a part of this creep squad. So I'm wondering, like, hmm. Um, Neve. So Neve explains this story about, I think he mentioned this, like, a couple seasons ago or something. It was this girl, and she, like, he was talking to her. This was before he met Laura. He was talking to her, and he gave her information. But this girl was trying to play like she was Neve and trying to get all these guys' attention and saying like it was yeah, really so the girl did all that but anyways back to the episode on it um so neve contacts someone from mtv and they say they're gonna get in touch with someone from the vh1 the press team and get rich dog's number and there's it says the name guy's name is jose because now they're like oh i'm not so sure and then you know they look at his instagram and nick is trying to teach neve the lingo uh, was in court. The three <laughs> the lingo and it's like so freaking oh, sorry guys. Uh, so freaking funny. Like Neve's like what's going on? Like okay. And there's a lot of memes on Rich's page and Neve feels like maybe this is not him because it seems like someone a very like younger age because you know I don't even like putting memes on my own Instagram, my personal Instagram, or my Instagram for YouTube, like, no, I don't do the memes, and Nick is excited, like, he's really excited, and, um, she was getting a little mad, to be honest, she's getting a little mad, but I'm wondering, like, why you're reaching out to these celebrities, and they might not even be who they say they are, even though they got the little verified check mark, but somebody could be taking over their account, and Neve tries to put some positive you know, positivity out there, and Sheila just doesn't really want to hear it. And they meet at this weird little place, and surprisingly, it is Rich Dollars. But he says that he 
does not run in his account. It's his does not run a social media account, and he called someone out, and it's his nephew. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it before the, even the episode ended. I knew it wasn't him, but I didn't expect it to be someone that was related to him. He was a good-looking guy, but he's stupid. He does not care about four women, I want to say. And he's like, you know, I think Instagram's a joke. Instagram's a joke. Like, some people fall in love on these apps. Like, I fell in love on an app twice, you know. They were real. They were real people, but yeah, some people take stuff real seriously, you know, and some people just don't give a damn. And he's an ass. Uh, Rich tells Rich tells them that he thinks that his nephew was wrong, which he was, and which he always would be. And Rich says, "I'm gonna run my social media account from now on. Like, how come you can run your own account? You don't even have to put up pictures all the time. Like, why is your nephew running your account?" I don't get it. And what she really wanted to, like, all these other reality TV stars, are they really running their accounts? Or is it somebody else? That makes you wonder. You think they're liking your your post? Or even, like, the music stars or the pop stars or the actresses and all that. It makes you think, like, really? Because that's a little weird. And, you know, Sheila says she's learned a lesson, so it's two months later. And Sheila says that, um... She is just focusing on herself, and she says she's talking to somebody with a verified page again. I'm like, will this girl ever learn? I think she's really trying to jump her way into the music industry any way she can, but it's just not happening. And Rose says he is focusing on himself, and he's not running Rich Dollar's account anymore. And that's about it. And next week's episode is about some other reality star. Like, come on. And they didn't even show who the co-host was, so... Yeah, we'll see. But I will see y'all next week for the next Pat Food Pat Fish review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell. Become part of the MRT fam. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.